Hey, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. Today I have a card that I'm sending to a friend. Um, it's a sympathy card. Unfortunately, she lost her father. And I made this card using the Hedgehog set from Lawn Fawn. I incorporated their new die, the rainbow die, um, which is from, let me look it up because it's within reach. Stitched Rainbow, their Stitched Rainbow die set. Um, I also used Dandy Day for the dandelions. Um, but anyway, I'll talk about it more. Um, I just want to send her a card because I know most of my, some, probably just some of my followers know I also lost my dad back in 2012. And I've actually had a request to see my tattoo on my arm because I did get it as a tribute for my dad. So I'll show you that real quick and then we'll jump into the process of how I made this card. So I have four different tattoos on my arm. The first one I ever got was this ampersand that matches my husband. He has one on his finger, his ring finger. And then the second tattoo I got was the large one on my arm. This is a rabbit with a magic wand as my dad was a magician with some pretty flowers and just beautiful line work. And this poppy, I asked for a poppy. And the bunny's looking up to the sky with the stars, and it just means a lot. Um, my dad probably rolled over in his grave when I got it, but <laughs> as I, th I think about him daily, and this is just a way to remember and to memorialize him. Next, I got actually one on my shoulder, and then a spur of the moment, I got these stars, which are inspired from the Harry Potter books. And this star is a matching tattoo I have with my husband and our two closest friends that we've had since high school, which is almost 20 years now. And then I have another tattoo on my shoulder, like my front shoulder, that I can show you guys another time. So let's get started into the card. I have all my images colored and cut out. I used the Sending Hedgehogs and Dandy Day sets like I mentioned and colored them in with my Pro Markers. Next I cut out my frame for my card using the Reverse Stitch Scallop Square Windows. I'm going to work on my background next and I have this large piece of scrap white paper and I'm going to use the stencil Grassy Hillside. Once I have my stencil placed I'm using the new Distress Oxide ink and Speckled Egg. I like leaving some darker and lighter spots to give a look of kind of a cloudy sky without adding clouds as this is going to be a small image. For the grass I'm using Distress Oxide in Mode Lawn. I thought this was fitting as I am creating a grassy scene. Once my Distress Oxide is done, I'm using a spritzer and spraying water as well as using Liquid Stardust from Lawn Fawn. Now that my background is shimmery and happy, I place it aside to dry. Once it's dry, I cut it out to be just slightly smaller than my frame. I want it to fit on the base of my card without worrying about some of the edge sticking out from under the frame. I also cut out my card base in A2 size in craft paper. Next I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto the frame. I love the sentiment sending hedgehogs. I think it's a really cute way to send love to someone. After looking at my scene, I wanted to add a little more dimension, so I distressed a piece of scrap paper and used a lawn fawn die to cut a hillside. Once I have a place in the frame where I like it, I'm using glue to secure that in place.
Next I'm using the new stitched rainbow die from Lawn Fawn and I'm going to distress all the different parts of the rainbow in different colors. I have a reddishy orange, a yellow, green, blue, and purple. I also die cut out a cloud and I'm going to have my rainbow coming out of the cloud on my card. I realized that trying to work with all these pieces was kind of difficult while they were separated, so I'm just using a piece of clear scotch tape to hold them in place. Then using my frame, I'm figuring out where exactly my rainbow is going to go. I actually made a little bit of a mistake by gluing my base down to my card a little early. I didn't think about the fact that I was going to be trimming off parts of my rainbow and that's a lot harder when you're trying to have it hide behind the frame and the frame is smaller than the size of your card base. I figured this out in a minute and you can see that I have to go off camera and really get in there and trim the rainbow down but it all works out. I'm using some foam tape to pop up my rainbow and I'm going to have the cloud peeking out from outside of the frame. So while I'm working on this, I thought I would tell you that we actually have a new puppy in our family and she has been not that great with potty training and unfortunately ate something that caused her to have very loose stools. So it's been a really <laughs> trying and hectic week. I was hoping to have two videos up, but it is what it is. And well, maybe I'll make it up in the future. But if you are gonna be sending positive vibes out, could you please send them to our poor little Rosie so she feels better so we can get back to potty training and helping us sleep through the night again. Now that everything is good, I'm placing some foam tape and glue on my frame to adhere to the base. Sorry this is a little bit out of frame. And as you can see, no rainbow is showing and it worked out exactly how I wanted it to. Now that my card is assembled, I'm gonna start putting in my colored images. I'm arranging the flowers in how I like them and I kind of want the hedgehog to look like he's smelling the dandelions. So going back to talking about my puppy, do you guys have any tips on how to potty train a puppy? She's about eight weeks old now. We've had her for a few weeks and I thought we were doing well, but then she got sick to her stomach and can't keep her stools in. So it's been kind of a nightmare. But now that she's on a little bit of medication and things look to be improving, any advice you can share with me on how to puppy train or how to potty train a puppy would be awesome. Let me know in the comments. This is our first time having a puppy. We had a dog a few years ago, but I got her when she was about probably eight months old and was kind of potty trained at the shelter. So I never really had any issues. She did have teething and separation anxiety issues, but that was resolved by crate training her. I really have no idea how to potty train, so we've been watching videos and hopefully we can get this solved soon. I wanted to add some glitter to my cloud, so I'm using my matte accents and I'm tracing the outside of the cloud and I'm going to use some chunky clear glitter on top of that glaze. I 
I tap off the leftovers into the trash can and I really like how it adds that shimmer and sparkle to the rainbow cloud. Speaking of sparkle, I use my Wink of Stella in clear to add more sparkle throughout the card. I love the subtle sparkle that the liquid stardust has in the background and the Wink of Stella will add to my images. I hope you enjoyed this card and it inspired you to create something yourself. Thank you for watching and I hope you hit subscribe. Have a great day.